Nah, but don't you think it'll, don't you think it's, it'll come across as a little bit fucking whingy, whiny kind of thing? I don't know, man. Like, no, man. You know, just do your thing. You know, you're, you're yeah. an influencer now, so yeah, you know, all right. Just do your thing. Fuck it. We'll give it a try. What's up, fellas, ladies, children, teenagers, everyone in between? Oh, I'm a, in this video, I want to tackle the fact that you haven't got a fucking clue what your data is worth. Is that fair to say? I think that's fair to say, right? None of us really do. Although, for some reason, we're more than willing to give a lot of it away uh, to mega fucking corporations around the world. Various uh, corporations that we, uh, and I don't need to mention here. So all day fucking long, we're giving away our data, we assume it's worthless, and we know our auntie's looking at our pictures on Facebook, and we know our work colleagues maybe see our drunkenness on Instagram at the weekend, but we don't give a fuck, it's probably worthless, it costs us fucking nothing to shoot a few films, post a few pictures, use a few tags, right? So, essentially, we've all decided, or we've been convinced that all this data that we're generating all the fucking time, it's absolutely, it's worthless. So worthless, in fact, that we're willing to give it away. So that's, uh, that's the state of the nation, the global situation, if you like. Now, I'd like to argue, in fact, many have it before me, is that this value is, is, is extremely fucking valuable in the right hands, okay? might not be valuable to know that you like drinking PIMS at fucking 12 o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday, but someone somewhere who needs this information will pay to access that. And they typically pay these social media giants that we give the data to. So the result of you drinking your PIMS in that photograph that you shared on a Sunday afternoon is that some, somewhere, somewhere in the world, some uh, agency has gone and purchased that information and then decided to throw an ad right at you. Not just you, but every, every other cunt who's drinking PIMS, regardless of the uh, details or the country. Now they know, right, Barry, shit peas, he fucking loves a, he loves a fucking PIMS o'clock on a Sunday. What else might he get into? Right, okay, let's have a look at his profile. Okay, right. So he's actually into murder mystery TV shows as well. Hmm, okay, now we're starting to build a bit more of a detailed profile of this cunt. So if he likes murder mystery pro uh, TV shows and he likes pims, you know, he might also like digestive biscuits. Let's fucking chuck a digestive biscuits ad at him. See if we can't coax him into nip into the shop and buying some digestives. And this is essentially this essentially captures the value of your data in a in a in a, in a way, doesn't it? I don't know what the digestive. I mean, it kind of does. It's something like that. It's quite like that. I mean, there are many stories like that. That's just one that I've t taken off the top of my head. Like my, <laughs> most of you cunts out there know that I don't script any of my shit. I just fucking wax freestyle here. So. If you don't think digestives go with PIMS and fucking murder mystery TV shows, that's fine. But there's a, there are other combinations that agents uh, advertisers are trying to figure out so that they might have a message that resonates with you at the right time. Anyway, back to the fucking... What was the purpose of this fucking video yeah, again? Trying to find the data value, the value of the data. Right. So trying to figure out what the fucking value of our data is, or your data, my data, maybe it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> First of all, I guess we need to agree that our data's fucking worth something. Until we agree that, that our data's worth anything, then we can't move to the next level and figure out exactly what it's worth. Anyway, these uh, methods that are used in the marketing advertising industry are typically done behind closed doors through data brokers and what have you, and you just get thrown in there with million up, millions of others, uh, depending on your demographic profile. Um, there's a psychographic profile as well, and that's that's actually that actually gets a bit more to the heart of the drama around what our data is worth, because 
if an advertiser can get into our nature using psychographic data, uh, for example, you know, psycho the psychographic data associated with someone that drinks PIMS at 12 on a Sunday whilst watching murder mystery TV uh, can, can tell us other things. We can extrapolate from there. Perhaps they are divorced. Perhaps they have a dog. Um, they definitely have a TV. They probably have some glasses where they can pour the PIMS in. So there are other things inferred from this data that we can uh, build profile, more detailed profiles on. Now, many of us out there are like, I've got nothing to hide. What do I fucking give a shit? Maybe I do want some digestives with my PIMS on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Fuck it, whatever. But of course, one has to go a little bit deeper and think about Okay, that example wasn't very invasive, perhaps, but what if the data that's been brokered is a little bit more invasive on a psychographic level? I mean, there's many stories of this uh, being exploited amongst teenagers with depression and what have you in the past, so it's not unheard of that uh, our most intimate, private thoughts are being harvested and basically marketed and sold on a exchanges by data brokers. That, that is a little bit dystopian in my mind. Maybe not for you guys out there. I mean, for, feel free to comment below. And again, please try to watch my videos all the way through so we can increase the watch time on, on the YouTube so other cunts can watch the video. That's just fucking YouTube's rules. Algorithm fucking nonsense, right? So whatever. I've been Bitman360. I was told not to sign off for too long because apparently if you see that the video is coming to end you'll just drop out before the end so forget all this i haven't said any of it and fucking have a great week i'll see ya next time bitman360 loves ya and he does think your dad is worth something everyone's worth something especially on a fucking psychographic level i couldn't give a fuck where you live what color your skin is what clothes you wear, what colour your eyes are, shampoo you use. I don't fucking care about that. But I do care about your mental health being exploited by mega corporations around the world. So let's try to figure that out and move forward as a species. And no, now the video will end. Apologise if you made it this far.